Hi, and welcome to this short demo of Projectum Team Planner. Team Planner is our uh, solution for modern resource management. It is a solution that can both be a standalone solution, but can also be integrated into uh, Azure products and uh, the Office 365 suite. It's built on an Azure Cosmos database, so that means that you as an organization own all of your own data and is completely GDPR compliant. Right now I'm working in the context of being a project manager, so I'm here on my request tab. Up here I can always choose the time resolution that I want to work in and I can easily drag and drop which timeline I want to work in as well. If I click here on my project picker, I can see all of the projects that I'm the owner or co-owner of. And then here I can filter and sort on projects. I can have information about that project and see the KPIs on how much of my request has been fulfilled. I can also pin the projects that I'm working on more often than others. So let's choose a project. So now I want to add some requests on generic resources. I do so by clicking here on the resource tab and now I can see all of the generic resources that are available to me. So I'll just add a few ones by clicking here on the plus sign and just like before, you can see that we have this small pin, so I can pin if I have resources that I work on often. So I'll just add a few ones here, say like this, and close that one. And now you can see everything is in green because all requests have been fulfilled because there are none. But as soon as I add the numbers, you can see that they turn red and that means that everything has been uh, sent to the line manager and they can now see this request. I can move my request in time if I need to and the project is moved and I can add comments to the line managers as well. So that's all I have to do as a project manager. Now I'll move into the context of being a line manager by clicking here on the allocation tab. And just like before I have my project picker where I can see all of the projects where requests have been made in my department. Again, just like before, you can filter and sort on your projects, you have information and you can pin projects that you're working on often. So right now I'll just go back to my project here and I will click on the resource tab. And now you can see that instead of generic resources, I have named resources. So let's say, for instance, I want to add an account manager from team PHP. We can see here that Peter has time because his KPIs show that and he is part of that team. As soon as I click on the plus sign, he will be added to that specific request. You might also have people who have a different generic resource than the one that I requested, but can still do the job. So let's say that I want to add a developer who can also work as a consultant. I can do so by dragging and dropping to that specific request. So let's close that again. And now I can add 50 hours and you can see immediately that the free capacity is going down. The same here, like so. We can also add what we call category resources that could for instance be that something is not possible. So we can show our project managers that it's not possible to fulfill that request, uh, it is rejected, a new hire is coming in, so on and so on. I can also see what the resources are working on by clicking on their name and I can see everything that they are assigned to and I can change those um, allocations in here as well. We also have a number of uh, standard Power BI reports that we can integrate into the system. You can also integrate your own Power BI reports. But these are the ones that we create and we uh, can also customize them to your needs. So in here we have a team manager report, project manager report and an individual resource report where we can see um, we can do filtering on our roles. We can see who specifically is over allocated and under allocated. Are we utilizing our resource the most optimal way? Same for project managers who instead will be able to see on their projects how much have I requested, have my, how much have I been allocated, and are my resources actually fulfilling those allocations as well. 
Finally, we give the individual resources this overview so they can go in, take a look at their own allocations and how much have they actually delivered on them. So they also have a responsibility of going to their team managers if they can see that their allocations are on. So that was a very, very brief introduction to a projectum team planner. You can always uh, find more information on our website and please contact us if you need a longer and more uh, thorough demo of this.